Rich. Now, Natalie's here with new concern tied to a major car recall. That's right. This is one we've all been talking about for a while about GM. Well, the National Highway Traffic Administration is now ordering General Motors to provide detailed answers about why it took so long to recall more than a million cars, even after more than a dozen people were killed. And GM allegedly knew about the problem a decade ago. NBC's Tom Costello is in Washington with more. Tom, good morning. Hi, Natalie. At least 31 crashes and 13 deaths have been linked to a faulty ignition switch that has been shown to shut down suddenly, and therefore the car's engine end is disabled. Critical systems go down, including the airbags. Last month, GM announced a long list of recalls, including certain model years of the Chevrolet Cobalts, the Saturn Ions, Chevrolet HHRs and Pontiac Solstices, Saturn Sky and Pontiac G5 models. But now government investigators want to know what took so long. Car makers are supposed to notify the government within five days if there's a major safety issue. Yet GM allegedly knew about the ignition switch problem since 2004, but failed to warn car owners even after several fatal incidents, including this one in Wisconsin in 2006, which killed two teenage girls. Now, in a sternly written letter, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is demanding that GM answer 107 questions under oath by April 3rd. It must also provide internal memos, photos, and drawings, and it's possible that it faces a $35 million fine. GM's new CEO, Mary Barra, is promising an unvarnished internal investigation, her words, to figure out what happened and prevent it from happening again. She says, while I deeply regret the circumstances that brought us to this point, I appreciate how today's GM has responded so far. We have much more work ahead of us, and I'm confident we will do the right thing for our customers. Meanwhile, several families have filed lawsuits against GM and some of its dealers. Natalie? All right, Tom Costello following the story there in Washington for us. Thank you.